Today I am having an experience like no other, literally, because thanks to Cano sponsoring this video, I will be the first person in the world who gets to cover the Harry Potter Cano coding kit. In their own words, you will build a wand for yourself, learn to code, and you will, yes, this is a direct quote from the packaging, wave your coding wand. Let's find out how that works. Okay, so the software is currently pre-release for this. So I've gone ahead and I've assembled an entire array of every device that the final product will support. So I've got iOS, Android, Mac OS, and Windows. But I'm gonna go ahead, and as much as this is gonna be a struggle for me, I'm gonna use the Mac OS version of it because that's apparently the one that is the most complete right now. So we're not gonna be having the entire experience because it's not done. I mean, there is no entire experience because you can, like I, I've actually got some experience with the original Cano computer kit. I built it with my son and he's actually used it quite a bit since then. And there's not really like, um, there's not like, like a beat the boss and it's over type thing. Like it's more of a, of a learning product, but we aren't gonna have even the entire pre-canned experience because it's not quite done yet. So, there we go. So this is it. Come on over here. Ollivander would be proud. How to make a wand, the handbook. Go ahead and put that there. <laughs> Look at this thing, I like a little thing. You just, okay. All right, so um, snap, click, swish, swish and flick. Oh, buddy. I haven't watched the movies in a while, but I'm still getting, I'm still getting the references here. Oh wow, there is a spell guide. Stupefy, Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. No, Leviosa, not Leviosa. Why do I know these things? I'm sorry. I know, I know. Lumos. So these are some of the gestures that you can do. Quick guide to wand motions. I totally, I totally want this poster. Like, regardless of the product. I like actually would just buy this poster. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, we could look at the instructions. Ooh, that's a thick instruction book. This is your wand. It's made of plastic, rubber, copper, and electronics. Okay, got your wand tip. You got a lanyard so you don't throw it into the TV. Wand handle, wand brain, button, and two AAA batteries. Let's build your wand pick up this piece. They really do make this stuff simple. That was something that I thought they did a great job of when I built the Cano computer kit with my son. I mean, even he was able to do it. He wasn't even six yet. Okay, pick up this piece. Got it. It's called a printed circuit board or PCB. Look closely at the parts. Oh, that's fun. So there's your power controller. So charging must come in somewhere near there, but I don't actually see it. Here's our processor. Here's uh, an activity light of some sort. Here's our codable vibration motor. Oh cool, there's vibration feedback. So the Bluetooth antenna, this is fun. Actually, this is cool. So a lot of people think that devices that don't have external antennas don't necessarily have antennas, but what they actually are is they're generally copper on a printed circuit board. So you can see in order to make the antenna longer than it would otherwise be able to be, they've gone and they've snaked it like this. Neat, right? Learn something every day. Here's some sensors. Here's the button. And then this is a codable light. So you've got both vibration and light feedback. Let's add some power. Turn the PCB over. There you go. So the batteries just go right in there. Bippity boppity. Ha ha, that's not Harry Potter. Never mind. That's where the batteries go. Okay, so we got, oh, that is RGB, like in that. Our Bluetooth looks like it's in pairing mode. Oh, wow. Wow, these are really step-by-step. Slot the first one. I'm way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. Make sure your batteries are facing this way. Got it. Flip the PCB over. Make sure the blue light is on. If not, check the batteries are the right way around. Got it. Inside this little black square are three sensors. A gyroscope that senses gravity, so the wand will know which way is up and down. 
an accelerometer, so the wand will be able to know how fast it's going, and a magnetometer to calculate the wand's direction. So gravity, speed, direction. It's almost looking like a, like a spell guide now. We're getting there, we're getting close. So it knows if you're moving it up, down, forward, backward, left, right, fast, or slow. That's cool. So basically there's almost no limit if you can get your muscle memory just right to what you could do with it. Okay, more instructions on how to put in the button. I'm good, I figured that out. Wow, they really, yep, they're making it simple. Flip it over, make sure the button's peeping out. I think we got this. This looked like heavy reading, but actually it's not. Pick up your wand with it, you'll do great things. With the right movements, the right words, a bit of curiosity and courage. Look at this. When this, then flame particles wand X, flame particles wand Y. That's cool. You can make feathers flow, flames flow, jelly beans grow, and Gorgio. First challenge. Let's use your coating wand to make a feather levitate. Open the objects tray. Got this. Drag the block onto your code space. Change seconds to milliseconds and open the physics tray and drag this block right about there. So every one millisecond, do object set position of all to X and Y coordinates of the wand. Cool. So drag this block into your code space, throw that onto your X position. Whoops. Boop, there you go. And then we also need the wand Y position. There we go. And then we open the physics tray and set the angle to, oh, I see what we want to do. So we want to change pitch to roll. That way we can roll the feather around. Very cool. So you can actually see a, a preview. See that? So you can wave and roll your wand and watch the feather match your movements. And then uh, reducto. <laughs> Ooh, you can choose what kind of beans you want. We could do uh, regular beans. And Gorgio! Wah! Aha! Can you guys hear the, uh, the, uh, the vibrating feedback? Oh, I can't make them any bigger. Okay, Reducto! <laughs> I'm a wizard, Ari. So we're gonna cast, cast Immobilis on a swarm of Cornish pixies. Will do. Change all to random and change zero to 60 so they fly towards each other. So this is gonna be quite the swarm of pixies then. So this is creating our pixies. Then we need to create a wand action to control these bloody things. We've got our wand centered. Thanks to the power of block coding, even I was able to figure it out. So now we can restart the program. You can see what happens is we have a bunch of pixie spawn and they're running all over the place in zero gravity. Boom, off it goes. And then you go like this, pow, and they freeze. Immobilis. Last challenge, now we get to create fire. This is actually the part I was waiting for. First add a loop, so we are always generating particles. One of the neatest things about this software is that you can see what's happening in real time over on the side. So I can see that every one second is not great. So now, every one millisecond, now we get a thousand times as much fire. And then if I were to point my wand at the screen here, I'm just gonna center it again, boom. Now I'm creating these, these particles that are flying out from the point of the wand. So you can see the cursor there as well. There you have it, summoning fire out of the wand and you can follow along with absolutely everything that we changed. So now instead of having uniform particles, we've made them clumpier, we've made them change color, and we've made them go from bigger down to smaller so that you get a much more realistic fire-like effect with your wand. So this is just a small slice of what you'll be able to do with the Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. You will actually be able to program actions for gestures and just like the original Cano, the sky is the limit in terms of your creativity. So yes, there's going to be uh, tutorials and demos and little challenges that you can complete if you're looking to take a Harry Potter fan in your life, be they small or adult sized and introduce them to the power of coding. But then 
the real fun is to be had in the learning experiences that you can have after you've completed the in the box challenges. So guys, it's gonna be available for $99.99 starting October 1st, and you can pre-order it right now at the link in the video description. Guys, if you wanna find out more information, you can check out the link in the video description. Thank you for watching, and thanks again to Cano, not only for sponsoring this video, but also for letting me be one of the first people in the world to experience this piece of computing magic. <laughs>